same way that a wave is something that the whole ocean is doing. It seems like Growing up, I was always obsessed with um, drawing in those, remember those really smelly markers that smelled like fruit? <laughs> I used to beg my mother for those and um, I would just paint, uh, well mainly just draw off of those. Growing up, I got into a lot of drawings and renderings, more figurative, um, and then in college I got into painting a lot more. There's all different types going on. Um, there's the more popular work that I did um, about five or six years ago, um, and then there's more of the cleaner, close to photorealism that I'm doing now. Um, so it's got kind of like a whole array going on. Um, it, my style's pretty, pretty different. It changes quite a bit. Um, so I'll go from you know more like surreal renderings of the figure, and then I'll go into architectural renderings, and I'll get cartoony. I'm just you know I like to mix it up quite a bit. With this, I'm going to kind of play around. I, I don't know what is going to be in the background because the foreground is so busy at this point. There's a lot concentrated. Um, and it does take me some time to get everything just completely you know, buttoned up, finalized. Um, but yeah, so here's just a, you know, all my items. Um, I love where I live because the light is so gorgeous in the afternoon. It really filters in and I'm able to get all the colors nailed. I kind of like the juxtaposition of architecture and animals and especially with all that's going on in the world and how quickly things are shifting and changing as far as climate change and uh, weather patterns. These particular paintings in this series that I'm working on, um, I, I'm definitely inspired by uh, the 1800s, uh, you know, the artists that were working out of Paris in that time and they were the romantics, so they were the French realist painters. I love that work of that time, um, and it's very inspirational as far as, you know, how they're able to take the female image, make it look, you know, elegant and gorgeous um, without overdoing it, um, and also keep the actual rendering pretty, pretty dramatic. You know, there's always something interesting. This was uh, when I was starting to learn oil a little bit more in depth, and uh, it was, you know, I had been working in acrylic for years um, and was not really familiar with oil and all the mediums, but um, it was, you know, it's the National Geographic photographer, and I ended up taking their image of this white tiger and then putting this moth in there. Um, just to see if I could get the eyes down and get the fur down, um, which took a little bit of time, uh, but once it turned out, uh, you know, I knew right away I had something good.